Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to my another video. I recently created my new channel made for study club. So let's get started with that. So we are learning about an interesting topic of science grade 6 that is microorganisms and food decay. So it's made by me, Wanya Sheik. And there are two pictures. One is of a bacteria or something. In second, you can see a rotten apple, completely rotten. That looks very disgusting, right? Learning objectives. Students will be able to learn how foods are decayed. They will be able to learn about some ways to prevent food decay. Then they will be ready to do the assignment. Get ready to take action. Woo! Recap, what are microorganisms? Tiny living things that cannot be seen with the naked eye are called microorganisms. Um, there are many examples for these. Example, amoeba, paramecium, bacteria, and many more. So here you can see most, 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 most dangerous pigs. I will kill them, just joking. This is like, second one picture is very very dangerous i thought i guess it's staphylococcus aureus bacteria i don't know about that but i think that that is how foods are decayed first the food which one will left so microorganisms will start to attack the food they will feed on the food grow reproduce and multiply quickly and if you accidentally eat the food, so it can cause food poisoning, which can result in diarrhea, vomiting, and severe abdominal cramps. The salmonella bacteria are present in raw or uncooked food. They simply multiply in the small intestine of infected person, which can cause food poisoning and stomach upset. So it's whole telling about the, how foods are decayed. Basically, foods are decayed when, like, uh, when microorganisms attack the food. Like, they feed on the food, they grow, they reproduce, and they multiply quickly. I don't like that. You are so bad. Just joking. Second is, like, third is, accidentally, like, if you accidentally eat that food by mistake, um, for God's sake, which can result in diarrhea. Diarrhea is a very bad disease about and vomiting also and it's really severe abdominal cramps. So this salmonella bacteria, they're present in uncooked food like meat or something. If you cut, uh, like if you give example that we cut the knife, uh, like we cut uh, meat with a knife. So like, and then like when we eat that food, but, but uncooked, but uncooked, so uh, like for inf uh, for example an infected person that has flu or fever so it will be like it will the microorganism will multiply i mean this salmonella bacteria will multiply quickly in the small intestine of an infected person that i told and it can cause stomach upset really hard ah oh! and food poisoning Blech. just joking <laughs> let's go to the next slide ways to prevent food spoilage select the food which has not passed with its expiry date separate cooked food from raw food cook food thoroughly at high temperature above 75 degrees celsius store food properly in containers at above 60 degrees celsius or below 4 degrees celsius don't leave cooked food standing in room temperature for more than two hours. <laughs> I told you about that. That if we just like stand the food to the room temperature, it would be very, very, very unhealthy for you. For example, if you eat that accidentally, I to, uh, I I'll show you in the uh, previous slide that um it would be like that. So I'm so. You mean, I'm so, so, so <laughs> joking. Okay, let's leave it just. And like if you room temperature for more than two hours, like if you accidentally eat that food, you're going to vomit it very badly. 
a white food with torn or unsealed packaging and in be careful for that like if you get a cat in or you can say a butter if it had unsealed packaging so please don't take that it would be very dangerous for you uh, please i'm begging you <laughs> just joking wash your hands with soap and water before eating or handling the food to someone reheat store cooked food at temperature above 75 degrees celsius or bring it to boil like there are two pictures you have to wash your hands you know this corona disease is spreading is spreading all over the world so basically microorganisms and food production we are going to learn about that also that like there are many good bacteria good bacteria have you heard of those let's see then there are many good bacteria that help to make food like yogurt bread cheese and much more cheese it's yummy <laughs> for example bread is made from yeast yeast is a type of fungi actually or fungi i don't know why we have to they say it but i'm telling two types fungi fungi i don't know that but you can choose by yourself <laughs> Milk and cheese from different types of bacteria to give them distinct taste and flavor. How bread is made. Here is it that how bread is made. So you can see pictures, zoom in, zoom out. Water is added to flour to form dough. Like we need the flour and we need the flour. We need, need. We need the flour. Then we add some water and oil to mix it and to form a soft soft dough yeast is added to the dough yeast acts on the sugar producing carbon dioxide and ethanol a kind of alcohol this process is called fermentation the carbon dioxide produced from forms small bubbles which are trapped inside the dough when the dough is kneaded yeah knead the dough the dough is baked upon baking the carbon dioxide trapped in the dough expands causing the dough to rise the ethanol produced evaporates during baking so here you can see microorganism food production exercise <laughs> just joking <laughs> uh, it's not exercise it's just telling that how is the bread made from yeast and without yeast yay oh my this speech crumpled into four <laughs> hmm, just joking why well, i'm saying just joking all the time use another word think 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 okay so we are going to do a written assignment how foods are decayed write any three ways to prevent the food spoilage give an example of a bacteria that can cause food poisoning what are the effects of this bacteria what will happen if we leave our food more than two hours answers in next slide right now i'm showing answers but that not mean that you're going to cheat <laughs> so the answers are first the microorganism attack the food then they grow reproduce and multiply and spoil the food very badly Push! Do not leave cooked food standing in room temperature more than two hours. You should wash hands before eating or handling the food to someone. Separate cooked food from raw food. Salmonella bacteria can cause food poisoning. The effects for this bacteria is that they can cause food poisoning and stomach upset. If we leave the if we leave the food for more than two hours, so the microorganism will multiply quickly and spoil the food. Mm okay that's all and make sure to give it a big thumbs up thanks for watching guys for this video and i hope please like share and subscribe to my channel for more good videos inshallah okay Allah